Okay. I'm going to ask you a few questions. Sure thing, sir. Firstly, are you Sven or Jack? Sven? Not that it makes any difference anyway. Sorry, what? I mean, don't worry. Since here that you killed a 25-year-old woman, is that true? No, I, I didn't kill her. Since here that you found at the crime scene, is that true? Uh, yes, sir. They found you with a bloody, broken vase in your hand. Yes, they did. And if I'm reading this right, you were standing over the victim with hands on her throat. Yes, sir. And you're yes. pleading not guilty. Yes, sir, I am. Do you understand how ridiculous this sounds to me? Yes, sir, I do. But what? You have two personalities or some shit. You couldn't control yourself and someone else had control of your body. Yeah, that's not the shit, mate. I've heard all the excuses in the book. You're not the first dickhead to claim insanity. And unless you give me something really convincing, you're going to end up like all those other idiots who thought, thought they were going to get away from murder. I'm diff- You're different. That's what all of them say. Your condition is different, despite there being no recorded evidence of any other cases in human history. I don't know how I can convince you. If he comes out later, you will see him. There's no other way I can show you. Mate, anyone can change who they are or how they're perceived. Hell, even I've done it. With all due respect, sir, changing a personality for an hour or two to interrogate someone is completely different than a disorder that has been following me my whole life. I've been living with Jack my whole life. I've held a completely different and convincing personality for ages at points, Sven. You don't know what it's about. Sorry, sir, but how so? How about I tell you a little story? One of my jobs here as an agent is to investigate different criminal activities from, say, a closer perspective. So, like, spying? A bit more personal than that. So? Undercover operations. Wow. Yes. Well, indeed. When going undercover, I've had to hold a completely different person that holds different values, does different things, and talks differently. Well, how long could you fake it for? It would usually take a couple of weeks, maybe a month, but the longest I've ever been undercover was a whole year. Imagine that. One whole year, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I'm sure you remember that huge drug bust that happened five years ago. The Rizuno family? That was you? Indeed. I was stuck there. Had all of them convinced I was a crook. I completely changed. My mind was completely rewired and committed to the task. I was trusted. About three months into it, I realised that I was starting to do small things differently. Having a glass of water before going to bed. Not washing my hands after taking a piss. Small things like that. I had actually begun to change. I hate yeah. to admit it, but I was. It wasn't like I was becoming a criminal or anything. But there are a few things that I'd come to agree with about them, or not report back to base about. I was beginning to actually like the guys there, not just pretend I did. Did you start to do things that you weren't allowed to? Of course, that was part of being undercover. But I was no longer feeling guilty for beating up that kid or lacing that drug with poison. It was just part of the job now. How did you get out? After about 11 and a half months, I got a call saying that I hadn't reported back in about two months. They asked if I was okay, and we were waiting for a while. I realised that I hadn't called them on purpose. I was so engrossed in my role that I had become the very thing I swore to destroy. So you had changed? You were a different person? Not completely. I realised how far gone I was, and I told them that I needed to get out. I said that I needed serious help. I was too far gone. They gave me a counsellor, got me into rehab, and now I'm pretty much good. Sir, can I point out, though that I haven't changed because of Jack, I've retained my true personality. Jack is just a part of me that won't go away. Well, maybe that's because you can just switch back whenever you feel like it. I was living a completely different life for months on end, with no memory of home. You okay? I think that's it for today, mate. Have a break for a bit. Where am I sleeping? I don't know, mate. That's not my job.
14th of August. Having flashbacks again and killing Chaz. The bullet hitting his skull, his blood on the concrete. That was a big part of the undercover mission that destroyed me, killing me partner. I never told anyone that I had to kill him. The official report was that one of the gang members had killed him. But the truth is, I was the one that held the gun to his head. They forced me, true, and I had to do it for the mission. But I pulled the trigger, and when I did it, I hate to admit it, I did not feel guilty at all. It is only now that I feel the pain of the loss of my best friend. Okay, day two. Yes, sir. Still say you're innocent? Yes, sir. I'm never going to believe you, Sven. You know that. I think you should. You think that I've just made this personality up to get out of jail, but my whole life I've been trailed by Jack. I know, mate. you said it plenty of times. But that's what anyone faking inside of you will say. No, but... Prove it to me, Sven. Prove that Jack has affected you all your life. Because at the moment, all I've heard is but and no. Tell me, Sven, what makes you special? Ever since school, Jack has taken a different path to me. He had different friends, different hobbies. Again, a, a different personality. He would yell back at the teachers, put us both into positions of trouble. But you always got out of it, didn't you? You said it was, wasn't your fault, it was Jack's, and you got out of it. Well, well, that's true, isn't it? You want to get out of trouble, so you fabricated a way to get out of it, to pass the guilt off yourself. No, it's well, not! that's the way it's coming out at the moment. You're all good and innocent, because you're Sven. Because you know you can get in trouble, but when you aren't held responsible for your actions, you can do whatever you want, piss off whoever, and in the end it's all okay, because it was Jack who did it. Jack's destroyed me! He's destroyed friendships, taken away integral parts of me. Why would I let that happen? How? Back in high school, I had a best friend, Melvin. Melvin wasn't the coolest kid. He was a bit stupid, but he was honest and I liked him. I was Melvin's only mate, the guy that he would talk to. My friendship with him, however, affected Jack. His friends would start to give him crap for hanging out with Melvin, even though it was only me who would. Jack had enough and wouldn't let me speak to Melvin. Every time I wanted to, he would come out and take me away from him or start to pick on Melvin. I had no choice to stop talking to him. And he never forgave me. He left the school, not able to look at me. Someone who would value themselves over our friendship. I never saw him again. And every day I cannot forgive Jack for doing this to me. I would never have left Melvin. I didn't have anything to gain from picking on him. Why would I keep pretending to be a dickhead? His actions have been hurting me my whole life. Why would I ever want to be in this position with the police, facing a life jail sentence? Do you think I would be stupid enough to kill someone thinking for sure I would get out of it? No, it's Jack who's got us in this situation, and I'm begging you to please get me out of it. Well, what do you want me to do? Get me help. I've had counselling. It's never been enough. Get me into rehab or something, because prison isn't going to fix me. It's probably going to make it worse. Mate, I can't do that for you. Why not? Don't you believe me? What isn't adding up to you? I can't help you, because this has happened before. 
What? There's another person with two personalities that killed someone? No, 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 no. Someone was killed by a man who claimed to have a mental illness. He pushed a 15-year-old girl right into the path in an oncoming train. He claimed he couldn't help it, that he had a spasm and someone pushed over the hedge. It was bullshit. He had no record of spasms before the event. How did he get away with it? He had an expensive lawyer that pulled some medical certificates out of his ass, and the judge had to rule not guilty. He was completely let off. Okay, but what has this got anything to do with me? <sighs> that girl, she was my daughter. And I've sworn never to let a killer get away ever again. Not for anyone. Especially not for someone who wants to fake a bloody mental illness. So, it's person. Sure it is. I can't let you go, Sven, because I can't let another man walk free after killing someone's daughter. I've sworn on it. Well, stuff this. <laughs> this is bullshit. How can you sit there and live with yourself thinking you're all righteous and shit? I'm not some bloody hack with that thinks he's getting away with murder by pretending to be something he's not. My whole life I've dealt with this. And if you don't believe me, fine. See you to jail. See you if I can. Probably would be better anyway. What the hell's gotten into you? Why do you want to go to jail all of a sudden? I've wanted to go to jail this whole time. It was Sven who was trying to get out of this. <laughs> Why the hell would you want to go to jail? It'd be great. Sven would hate me there. I'd be in total control. Go ahead. I killed Charlene Stevens. I killed her. No, you wanted a special Agent James Macken Anderson confession. Well, you've got it now. Send me off, why don't you? Shut up! Come on, James. You were so keen before, why not now? Shut up! Now, Sven, Jack, wherever in hell you are, we will continue this tomorrow. Uh. Fifteenth of August. I'm confused, unnerved, shook. It was not supposed to pan out like this. Sven, Jack, whatever the bloody hell he is, seems different. I don't know if he's legit or if he's just really good at faking it. But when Jack came out today, it felt like someone, something else, had entered the room. I don't want to deal with this guy anymore. It's unlike anything else that I've ever seen. I'm very inclined to believe him, but I cannot. about yesterday. I just got really stressed and Jack snuck out. Wasn't meant to. Don't worry about it, mate. Okay, sorry. Don't say sorry. Oh, so oh. Okay. So tell me, why did you kill Charlene Jackson? Tell me this, and I'll pass you on. I can't handle this shit anymore. Well, as I've said, I didn't kill her. So I well, can't... Why did Jack kill her then? For heaven's sake, I'm sick of this Jack Sven bullshit. Just tell me what happened. Charlene was my girlfriend, our girlfriend. She was a weirdo, but she accepted us for what we were. She liked me and him. She was the only person in the world that it seems didn't want to get rid of either half. So what went wrong? She cheated on us. Oh. I was the one that caught her. As you can imagine, Jack came out when I got angry. 
smashed a vase over the guy's head and started to bash her. He called the cops and you found Jack choking her. He loved every second of it. I remember. You can feel what he feels. Not really. It's, it's kind of like taking the back seat. You can see what's happening and tell the driver what to do, but you can't actually make anything happen unless he gets distracted and takes his hands off the wheel. Then you can jump in and swap seats. Okay, Sven, I'm going to recommend that you get sent to a rehabilitation facility, but I cannot be sure that the judge will agree. Oh, thank you. Don't thank me yet. Any sign of excessive violence from you and you're straight to a cell, am I clear? Certainly. I look forward to never seeing you again, Sven. Jack, whoever the hell you are.